Isabel, one of my all-time top ten favorite female names. Isabel in Fort Myers, Florida. Great to have you on Open Line Friday. Hello. Hi, Lars. Thank you so much. This is unbelievable. This is the way I want to finish my week. Well, um, I'm glad you got through. Thank you. Um, you just frame my whole point so beautifully throughout your show. I'm a Hispanic, five years U.S. citizen. And one of the things that infuriates me, and, and sometimes logically I don't understand, is why many of the Hispanics who live in the United States, who left our countries because they are corrupted, because the politicians promised the moon, the stars, and all the planets, and never come through, and they do it every year, and they take your money away, they put poor roads, no services, nothing works, right? Right. We already have been down that road, and no, recently we are talking about generations in all the Latin American countries. And we come here thinking this is the land where I can flourish. This is the land where my talents are going to be rewarded because I work hard and I have good ethics. And we go and vote behind those same demagogues, populists, and corrupt politicians like the current administration. So that is the piece that I get very, how can I say, passionate, mad, disappointed, and everything in between. That we are still that gullible by our own wrong decisions, wrong judgments, right? And we have Gutierrez and all these Hispanic people, Ramos. Wait, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, Isabel, are you essentially saying that this country is becoming as corrupt or is on its way to becoming as corrupt as the countries that you left and, and wanted to escape? Is that what I you... I see it. I'm seeing it. And it's sad, and I talked to my friends and my family here, and I said, do you see that it's exactly what happened, you know, 20 years ago in Venezuela? Do you see that it's what happened, how the guerrilla in Colombia started? Do you see that it's how the uh, drug dealers in Latin America work, buying the government? I just see that we are slowly but surely the United States of America. A country where we, where is, it used to be ruled by the law. Now the law becomes a moving target and depends and covers whomever plays the game better. I'm seeing it. And it's so sad. The only difference between the American politicians and many of the Latin American politicians is that the ones here speak good English. That's it. Well, yeah, I, there, there's there's no question that it's got to be frustrating people like you. I mean, you have come here because you wanted to escape. Yeah, uh, I, I literally... You, you wanted to escape a number of things. Poverty, corruption, uh, any number of, you know, economic distress. You come here, this is the shining city on a hill. This is the, this is, this is the place on earth Everybody wants to come. Nobody wants to leave this country. Although that's not actually more people renouncing their citizenship today than ever before. But we'll leave that aside for the moment. This is the place everybody wants to come. And it's just it's a it's a sad reality, Isabel, that uh, not everybody it's just in any group of people, um they're they're you you're, you're well, it's not every not everybody came here for the same reasons you did. Not everybody's coming here for the same reasons you did. Some are coming here because it's a giant hammock. I mean, it's it's it's, it's as many reasons as there are people. But uh, I can imagine the disappointment you face. That a lot of it feel a lot of us feel the same way. See what's happening to the country, and the real thing about it that bothers uh, so many of us. I don't know if this is affecting you, but. It, it, so many of us look out over the landscape and don't see that many people that care about it. 
Anyway, I appreciate the call, Isabel. Thanks. Thanks very much.